Welcome back, guys, and we're going to be doing a nice little review. Uh, well, not more review, but this is my review place. I built it. It's like a, a showcase place. It arrived. It's like a place where I showcase. I had built this for just for this. Not Well, not just for this, but... Anyway, so as you guys know, the new banners have come out in the new updates. And there are so many things you can do with it. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to do the alphabet because that's a nice little thing you can do. Like, you can write messages and stuff. Now, there are ways to create every single letter. Just some look stupid. But anyway, let's get down to the basics before we do anything. This is how you make... Oh, this is this is how you make a banner. So, let's just create one. Let's just show you. Just take six bowl and a stick. And that makes a banner. And whatever color the base color is, that's what the color of the banner is going to be, like the color wool. Then you have all these different things, like these are special things you can get in the game. And you add them and they create different patterns. So, let's just show you each one. And this will also show me, show you guys this. Okay, so, with the white banner, you take it. Say you want, the you have a weather skull, you put it on, and you get the black skull and crossbones then if you want to wash that off you go to a cauldron and you click it and that will wash it off but since I'm in creative mode it just gives me a blank one so then you take that and you get a creeper head you get a creeper and then you wash it off and creative white but if it wasn't creative it'd be just like a blank one here I'll just pop out a creative slash game game mode was it zero I think it's zero yep so now, now I'll just show you this time. Yep, just wash it straight off. But you lose water. But now since we have a bunch of blank ones, you can just use these. So this creates, it says black thing, but it's Mojang sign. See? There's break. 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 How long does it take to, oh, yeah. Anyway, and then you take an oxide daisy. You put that there, and you get a little sun slash flower pattern. Just throw those right there. This is like an underwater temple, if you guys don't want to really see it. So anyway, so that's how you do. That's the basics to making a pattern, and then you add dyes and so, so all sorts of things to create these. Now let's get down to the alphabets. I'm going to show you each of the letters. Those ones are letters that. I made letters for them, but they don't look particularly well at all, and I couldn't figure out any other way. So I just these are open discussion; like you guys can figure it out if you find any other better ways than I show you. Anyway, so we're gonna start with A. A is quite simple. All it takes these these three things: need some dye, ink sac, and black matter. Get that out of my inventory, and it creates this. So what you want to do? is do take a black banner make a nice border around it which makes this border then what you want to do is make eh, a little, oops make a middle stripe which just look like this and it's an A well that's not an A yet then what you want to do is do this like this and then uh, was a lime right strip. Then after doing that, take it like this, and then take that off, and then like this, and take that off. It, I don't know, right? I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. That was a derp on my side. I put the it said on um, you know has has the instructions basically on this. I read black bottom stripe, and I actually put it in the middle, so I did it wrong. But this is how you make it. Ready? So it takes the 17 lime dye and the 3 ink sacs, and then, well, any color you want basically, and any base color, but these are just so it stands out for you guys, so you see. So you do a border, and then you take that border and you take, you make your middle stripe. Then from there you take the ink sac and make a bottom stripe. That's, well, I went the middle, but it was bottom. Then you take, just basically do a line on each side. And there you have it. It's an A. Boom. Just like this one. So, I just destroy those. 
these are just backups just in case I mess up again. Anyway, so now I can show you how to make a B. B is just ma made by the, this, these two items. All right, ready? So let's take this out. What you want to do is make, oops. Yeah, okay, now what you want to do is make a line border, then make a middle stripe, and then now it looks like eight, then you make the one side bigger so it looks actually like a B. And that's a, that's the B. It's quite simple. Next is a C. There is two different C's, both being exactly like a C. Basically, this one this one takes less uh, what's it called? Less uh, dot lime dye than the others, but it's it's basically the same. So what you want to do is you want to take the banner, and then you want to put a border around it. And then what you want to do is just put put that there, and that's a C. Or what you could do is take those. Oops, drop that out. What you could do is just take oops, take this, just make a stripe, make stripe, and then make another stripe. That's all you had to do. And then if you want to make it like nice, nice, you just throw a little border around it and make it like a, you know, black C. Oops. That one looks pretty nice. I, I like this one the best, but I don't know. I just put this one up because it's easiest to make out of all of them. Okay. So now I'll show you how to make a D. D is basically the opposite of B without the middle stripe. So, you know, just... All you gotta do is take this, make a border, but without the middle stripe, take this and make a line. Oh, well, a right stripe. And that makes yourself a D. Okay, now we're on the E. E has two different things you could do, but the best thing to do, probably easiest thing to do, is this. Or, I'll show you both ways. So, what you wanna do is a border. Oops, that's not a full border. E border, then a line, and then just a right side line, and that makes E. Or, or what you could do is just make this like this. Oops, like that. Then this. Then this, and then put a line in the middle, which is also E. And then what I would do after this, because it's very thick, what you do is take this border and you get a nice thicker E. And that one would match the thicker C. But I'm just going with easiness, the easier, as I would say, way is the this thinner E. But I think this one personally looks better. I keep breaking my surroundings. I'll have to fix those later. Okay. Yeah, because you can punch straight through, through uh, these, so... Now the F is very simple. It's just a left stripe, middle stripe, and the top stripe. So you just take that. So stripe, stripe, and another stripe for the top. And then again, basically with all these, you can make them look better with a border, but it takes more ink. You know, it just looks better. It's not as thick, but anyway. So let's let's get on with this. I'm just gonna grab some more ink and some more uh, dye just in case. Let's just try that. All right, now we're on to G. Ready? So this is how you do G. G is just a is actually more complicated than you think. You think it'd be really easy, but it's a little more complicated because you have to get that little up down like up symbol thing so what you want to do is this ready make a line right stripe mm -hmm, just like it says right here then what you want to do is this make it like that so you get that little line then from there it's pretty simple just go like this then this and then this and I'll show you how it looks like with a border around it Ta da looks more like I don't know. It doesn't look like that much like a G with a board around it. But it probably matched the other ones. You'll keep breaking the stuff behind it.
Darn it. We ain't like you messing up. Whoa, where did I get all this dye from? It's way too much for uh, that. It's way. Wow, that got 64 exactly. It's way too much for what I'm doing, but whatever. That sounds good enough. Okay, H. H is a very simple one. It just takes nine die and a black banner. Just go up. Up. And then to the side. Then you can also have it like this. And then you got your H. Whoop. Two different H's. Let's just drop that there. There. Alright. Now I, I already put the board around it because it just didn't look too much like an eye. I don't know. I just, I needed to. It was for disclosure. So this is what you'll need. Let's grab this take it out of here. So I put dispenser because you can't barely put a chest there. Anyway, so what we want to do is take this. It's quite simple, actually. Just do this. Do the thing, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I almost messed up. Ta-da. Middle stripe. And then this stripe. Now, as you can see, it's very, very thick at the bottom compared to the other rest. So what I want to do is even that out by making it a border around it, it's just like that one. Otherwise, I mean, you can keep it the other way, but it just doesn't look right. Then, let's get on with the J. The J is also a very simple one. Just take those out. What we want to do, the first thing you want to do is make a center stripe. Then, you want to make this side stripe. And then you want to take this and make another side stripe right here. And then from there, you go like this, and then you have your J. Two J's. Ooh. Okay, now, oops, I got that together. Now we're on to K. K is not that hard, really. I mean, it doesn't even, it, it's, it's a little too far on the side, I think. But it's as best as I could get it, you know? Like, j just by looking at it, it's the best I could get it. So what you want to do is make a stripe on the side. Then you want to make a middle line. It's more like a flag, but just now. Then you want to make a side line. And then you got your K. That's K. See? Just like it. Okay. Now next, we're going to be going to L. Um, there's a lot of these things. Just looking at it. <laughs> it took me quite a while to figure these out too, if you think about it. So let's grab the two the items we need. So what you want to do is make a stripe right here. Wait, well, oops, that needs to be right here. So I meant, and then another stripe at the bottom. Simple. And then, because I like it with the border, you should take eight ink sacks. And actually, put nine. And then you got your L. Boo. Okay. Moving on to M. M is the harder one, but it's uh. It's like an M with a little slime in the middle. Ooh, hi. Anyway, so let's get on to with the M. The M was really hard to, you know, it was hard to make. At least it was hard for me to think about it. Because I had to, like, think hard mm, for a long time. Okay, so then you make the cross, and then you make, let's just get the black. Yep. Then with that, we want to... Sorry, it's my leg. Then what you want to do with that is make a stripe right here. Boom. And a stripe right here. Now we get another M. Alright. Oops. What? Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll move on to N. N is another simple one. Just very simple. You just take it. You make this. You make a cross. And then you take that and then you make another line up. But being that it is simple, you can do a lot more with it. So one thing I saw never do on the Minecraft server. It was pretty cool. Let's just show you that real quick. Now that's a really cool looking end. Yeah, see that? But I was just going with the base again. Because this end won't match any of the other numbers, letters. You know. You know what I meant. Okay, now O, simplest one of them all. There's even no need to show you this, it's just a border. Or obviously you could just throw stripes on each side, you know, stripe, let go, stripe, let go, stripe, let go, stripe. Then you can put a border around it, make it less thick. 
But this is the very simplest, very simplest thing to do. Just forgot to take that. Oop. Now we're on to P. P was a little harder than you think because you have to figure out how to get that black square in the middle. And I couldn't really get rid of that little bit of a drop there. So let's get on with what you had to do. So what you want to do is take, let's just grab that out there. You want to take a black banner, and then you want to take your ink, I mean not your dye, and make whatever color dye and put a line border on it. Then from there, you want to take this, and you want to put a middle stripe. Middle stripe. And now what you want to do is make, take this ink sack, and make a black bottom stripe, so it's like cutting it off, that means you get that. Then you take this and make a side stripe, and you got a P. And that's, it's pretty simple, but it was like hard to think about. It took me quite a while. Also then I just decided to build this. But anyway, now we're on to Q. Q, this Q is better looking than the other Q I made. Way better. So this is the only Q I will show. So anyway, because I saw someone else make a Q and it was just terrible. Not, not to be mean, I mean just, it was worse than this one. And this one's quite simple. Uh, oh yeah, first I do that. I need to make sure so I don't show you guys the wrong thing. So make this first. And then what you want to do is make a middle black stripe. That's what I want to do, right? No. You want to make the side. Full side. Then take that and just make a little border around it. Ta-da! Got yourself a Q. Q. We can all have Qs. Now, the next one is an R, but the R is, shoot, I got these R's, and they don't really look like R's, if you know what I mean, like, look, they don't really look like R's that much, but, hmm, see, to me, they don't look good at all, like, at all, so, but, what you could do, is go back to where I, here, I'll just, Slash key mode, key mode, zero. Here, I'm gonna show you guys. Let's take that. Woo! Breaking the banners. Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait here for a second. You guys can pause the video. I'm gonna give you long enough to pause that. And you can look at these these um, what's it called? Ingredients. And then you can make make the R according to this. So I'll just pause here. Look at this. Alright, okay, good? Good? Huh? Just get another look. Just in case you missed. And that should be good. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the, those back. They don't look that good, but I might as well just put the one that looks the best up for. Oops. I put these as like a call because they're, you know, a beacon, a call to make. But anyway. So next we got an S. The only the S looks basically like the Z. This is the basic S. It's basically like the Z, except the other way, because that's actually how S's are. Because you can't really get a curve, if you know what I mean. You can't really get a curve. But just to make distinguish it, I put the little banner, you know, a little, you know, a little up down, just just in case. But it doesn't look that good. But I'll just show you guys how to make the first one. Okay, so what you're gonna do? You're gonna take this. You go black, um, no, colored side then you're gonna do this then what you're gonna do is make another one and then you can take this and go around like that then you got yourself an S basically then if you want that fancy a fancy weir weird type of fancy what you want to do is grab it like that mm -hmm. and it looks like that it's not the best but it's something I don't know how to get rid of that. Just get rid of it. I don't like it. Oh, I didn't grab those. That's why it was. Anyway. So next is the T. T is a very simple one, uh, just like the other ones. So what you want to do? Oops, did I grab the T or grab the S? Oops. Grab T. Okay. What you want to do? do? Take the banner and make a. Actually, I'll just use this. Make a center stripe. Then you take the other three that I just dropped and accidentally and do that 
and then you take the ink sacs, the eight of them, and you make that. And that's a T. Just grab those back. And there you have it. There's a T. Mm, get those back. Okay, now we're on to U. U is, well, sort of simple. Looks, yeah, it looks like a U. The hardest one's probably V, which I have made, but it just doesn't look good at all. You know, because it's got to be pointed, and you can't really get a point there, if you know what I mean. But anyway, so what you do is you take, oops, wrong side. Then you take a line. Then you're just basically making three lines. Get your thick U, and then I put that there because I like it with the border. Border looks nice. Now on the V. V is more, well, I'll show you. Okay, V, it's a simple one, but it doesn't look like a V to me. Like, look, like, oops. That's probably the best V I could make after thinking about it for like 20 minutes, just sitting there staring at the black canvas, thinking about what to do. And you can't really do much. But, that's as far as I could get. How do you break it? Is this side? No. Like this, yeah. So I'll give you a pause to look at that. Actually, I'll just make it, you know. Okay, ready? So what you want to do is make a vertical. Then you want to make a side. Then you just make a border. That's 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 all there is to it. That's a banner. That is a black banner. Wait, there. See, black banner. But it's not the. I don't, I don't really enjoy that banner as much as any of the. Uh, I don't enjoy that banner as much as any of the others. Okay, now we're gonna go on to we have th four left. So W W is quite easy. I'll just show you what you wanna do. What you wanna do is make. Oops, where that where that go? There it is. Aha, got it. Okay, get, grab the black banners. Now we wanna make a cross section, kind of like an M, but not an M, because it looks way better. Now we wanna make. The other half compared to you know how the M was. Make that X out. Then you want to take the left stripe here and the left stripe here. And that's very thick, looks more like an H. <clears throat> Sorry. Looks more like an H. And then you got your W. This one actually looks like a W to me. Break. Okay, now yeah, let's take that one out too. Now what we're going to do is make an X. X is the simplest one you'll ever have to make. Just throw that down. All you have to do is make an X pattern. That's all you got to do. You can make it smaller by adding a, bit, a border to it. And also cuts it off, which makes it look like a good X. Like, you know, pointy. But yeah, that, that's it. That's it for the X. It's quite easy. Now the Y, what was very tricky, it didn't look too good to me, you know. That's the best I can make it, but I even put it on display. You guys can change it if you want, but it's the best I could think of. So what you want to do is take this, make it cross, like that. Then what you want to do is get the black bottom, and then, was that lime center stripe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Then you want to get a lime center stripe. Which goes like this. This is the center. That's not the center. Oops. Which is like this. And then what you want to do is make a triangle up above it, which makes it a Y. Basically. It's not the best looking. But it works. That's your Y. Just throws those in there. Okay. Now we're going to the last one, which is Z. Z is another easy one. But I like putting the border on it. So what you do is make a bomb stripe. Then you go the opposite direction of the S. Like so. And then this. Perfect. And then you put a little border around it. Ta-da. Got your little Z. Now one thing I didn't show you was how to duplicate banners. So what you want to do is get the banner of the same base color. And you can duplicate your banner. Now you have two. And you can just stick them around. Well, I hope we 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of the new showcase of how to make your alpha like alphabet and do like like write things out basically in letters on the banner. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.